Hello everyone, this is Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. Happy New Year! Let's take a look at today's article. Uh, our article is entitled Goodbye Giraffe and it has a question mark. So we know what a giraffe is. Uh, it's an animal that is very unique. It's very different because of its long neck. Uh, it's very beautiful. And it says goodbye meaning maybe it's going somewhere. Let's find out. So it says the world's tallest animal faces extinction. So extinction meaning that they are no longer living. We cannot find them in the world. Uh, they have all died. So it's very sad. So it says it's facing extinction. So it's heading uh, to that point where they're no longer living on earth. So it says the world used, uh, used to have around 150,000 giraffes 15 years ago. So 15 years ago there were that many giraffes around the world. But because they are losing their homes and, they, uh, and people are illegally capturing them, just 90,000 giraffes are left in Africa. So what's the main reason why we're not seeing as many giraffes? So 15 years ago there were 150,000 giraffes, now there's only 90,000, almost half of that. Why? Because people are moving their homes closer and closer to where they used to live. Right? So people are spreading out, taking the land that uh, used to belong to where the giraffes would get their food and where they would live. So now we're seeing a lot of homes being built there. So they're losing their homes, the giraffes are losing their homes, and people are illegally capturing them. Illegally means they're going against the law, they're breaking the law. So the law uh, protects the giraffes, you're not supposed to hunt them, you're supposed to keep them safe. But people are breaking that law, they're not following it, and they're capturing. Capturing means they're taking them, right? They're hunting them or they're keeping them, so that's capturing. Um, so that's why there's only 90,000 giraffes now left in Africa. The long-necked animal is already extinct in seven countries. So uh, before they used to live in many different countries, now we can subtract seven. So because of these different problems, illegal capturing, people breaking the law, as well as uh, people moving into the areas where giraffes used to live, taking the giraffes' homes, we're seeing uh, less and less giraffes where seven countries now you cannot see them anymore. Uh, everyone thinks they are everywhere said giraffe expert uh, Julian Fennessy, who is trying to save them. It would, be really, it would be a really sad world without giraffes. I believe so too. So if we don't do something, if we don't raise our awareness or let other people know what's happening to the giraffe, then before we know it, we won't see giraffes anymore. They'll be extinct. So these beautiful animals right, are losing their homes and people are hunting them illegally, they're breaking the law. So we need to share this information so that everyone knows that if we don't protect these giraffes, we may not see them anymore. So this is a beautiful picture of a giraffe, very long-necked animal who needs these uh, special trees, these tall trees and their special homes to be protected so that they can live in the wild. So let's look at the questions from today's article. It says, the giraffe is the world's what animal? Is it the fastest animal? Is it the slowest animal? It's the world's, that's right, tallest, right? Because of their long necks and their long legs, right? So they're the tallest animals in the world. B, it says, the animal is already something in seven countries. So we can't see these animals in seven countries. So if we can't see them anymore because they're not living, so we say that they are extinct, right? We said that they're facing extinction. We say that these giraffes are already extinct in seven countries. Let's look at the last question. It would be a really something world without giraffe. So we know that if we can't see these beautiful animals, not just giraffe, but any animals, right? It would be a very sad world. So if we don't protect these animals now, we are, your grandchildren or your great-grandchildren will grow up without seeing them. They'll only see them in books and pictures. And like I said again, that would be very sad. So let's look at the last part of today's article. Let's check the correct answer or circle the correct answer. It says, the world or the country or the Africa used to have 150,000 giraffes. Well, we know that before a proper noun like Africa, a name, you cannot put the word the, so we know that Africa is not there. The world or the country. So I think 150,000 giraffes in one country would be great, but the correct choice would be the world. So we used to have that many giraffes, not anymore. Uh, B says seven countries say the long-necked animal or the slow animal or the active animal is extinct. Extinct meaning no longer alive. So we said that seven countries say that what about the long-necked animal, the giraffe, is 
extinct. So you can no longer see them in seven countries in the world. Very sad. Let's look at C. It says giraffes are in danger because they are losing their homes, their food, or their water. Which one? We talked about this many times. So people are moving in to the land uh, that giraffes used to live in, uh, and people are building cities closer to these natural areas, so they are losing their homes. So as we learned in today's article, not just giraffes, but many animals are facing the same problems where people are moving in, the animals are losing their homes, but in particular, especially giraffes, if we want to see giraffes for uh, the next hundred years, then we must do something to protect them. So people are breaking the law, uh, they're capturing them illegally, and they're building homes. So let's do our best to share this news to our friends and to other people so that we can see this beautiful animal in the wild for years to come. I hope you enjoyed today's article, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.